A hundred years ago, Richmond County was one of the wealthiest counties in North Carolina. Hamlet, North Carolina was a booming mill town and provided a livelihood for many of its residents. In 1970, the mills began to close down. And not only did they take with them the livelihoods of many of our citizens, but they also took with them a sense of hope. Here in Richmond County Schools, we believe that there's an engineer in every student. For every student that shows the desire, we will find that engineer and bring them to the surface. We will create a highly skilled, innovative workforce to bring manufacturing back to Richmond County. Wow, Steven, nice, nice. Michael's uh, career goal is to be an engineer. And we want them to understand that this is about personal leadership. These two guys are the captains of their own ship. As the IT director for Richmond County Schools and a 21 year veteran of the public schools of North Carolina, it is clear to me that early exposure to technology plays a critical role in developing learners into the critical thinkers of tomorrow. Employers hire skilled workers, but they covet problem solvers. She's, she's really ventured more into the uh, coding, the programming. So today we're just sort of pulling her out of that pool and introducing her to 3D scanning. 3D technology is here and now and will only continue to evolve. We are implementing 3D into the curriculum. Students are designing apps, building 3D models, or understanding the fundamentals of design and engineering. Whether a student is pursuing a career in animation, gaming, biotechnology, aerospace design, or even automotive engineering, they will be equipped for the challenges of the real world. We want them to understand that you can't just walk up to an object and start scanning it. You've got to look at it and decide, you know, the dimensions of it, the geometry of it. It just really makes them think teach them to ask questions and then find the answer. Absolutely. Because um, that's, you know, that's what engineering is all about. It's, you know, about solving problems. You know, somebody has to ask a question and then you have to figure out how you get to that point. And that's how the world becomes a better place. We're drawing a line in the sand for our students, a line that divides greatness and mediocrity. When students apply what they've learned to solve real world problems, we pulled them to the side of greatness. By re-engineering the world around them, we equipped them to better compete in it.